Well, I'm working in After Effects on some high-res AVC intra footage and some red camera footage here. Are you insane, Mike? Why would you work on that large footage on a laptop? You're mad. Well, no, I'm not mad. This is a 64-bit native application working on a 64-bit native operating system and I've got 8 gigabytes of RAM. As a matter of fact, I could use as much RAM as I like in this because it's 64-bit. That means in After Effects I can get a massive amount of RAM preview. As a matter of fact, if I hit the space bar over here, we can have a look at the RAM preview just sort of caching up down the bottom there. Look at that green line go. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going. It's just going to keep going. That's pretty cool. And here comes our character. This is um, AVC intro footage. And we're going to get a whole stack of RAM preview here that we'll be able to scrub backwards and forwards um, through until the um, uh, end of time. Even even in even at real time like this, it, it, it's pretty quick, right? So that's going to go. And but that's it, right? And we can scrub backwards and forwards through there, and it all looks pretty good. But what if we want more than that? Well, I'll tell you how to get more. Underneath the preferences, so I'm just pressing Apple or Control. Uh, sorry, I'm going to um, After Effects menu preferences, and I'm going to come down to Memory and Multi Processing. We can actually share the RAM between our video products. So you can see I've got Premiere Pro running in the background. It's taking up some of my 6.5 gigabytes that I've got allocated to After Effects. How can I combat that? Well, I just go and shut it down. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down Premiere Pro. We won't um, uh, save the changes there. We're going to go back to the preferences, memory and multiprocessing, and you can see. Now all of the RAM is reserved, or 6.5 gig of the RAM is reserved for After Effects. So that's super cool. So if I hit the space bar here again, I can now add to this. We'll scrub through to the end there, and we'll just keep adding to this, and we can read more of that RAM. So this just goes to prove that whatever RAM you've got in there, above 3 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes, you can use with After Effects and Premiere Pro both 64-bit native applications. So that's AVC um, intro footage. That would have just kept going, but I'm going to switch over uh, where I've got some red camera footage. Now this is going to read into the RAM um, as well, uh, and we can read this in, and this is a uh, red camera native footage right here in Premiere Pro, and as this reads in, come on, off you go, you little devil. It's going to start reading into RAM as well, and then we can scrub backwards and forwards through this native footage as well. Start adding all sorts of things to it. Here comes our character running around the corner. Isn't that awesome? Working on red footage like this. Here it goes. Sorry if it's a little bit jerky on your system. Purely just the screen recording. But this is as smooth as you like. As he comes running around, there's things exploding in the background. Awesome. Looks pretty cool. It's working 64-bit native system in After Effects, man, gives you tons of RAM uh, preview.